Well, hello friends and welcome back to my channel. I'm Renee and I told you we were going to be doing some freezer meals. So today we're going to start with vegetable pot pie. Okay friends, so with this vegetable pot pie, I'm doing two of them for my freezer. Very simple. It's stuff right out of my pantry. I'm going to use two cans of cream of potato soup and two cans of mixed vegetables. And you can make your own pie shells for these, though I didn't. I just bought the store-bought ones because it's just so much easier right now. Also, we're just going to use a little bit of pepper, thyme, and rosemary in this. Let me get my pepper. This is so easy to make, and it is delicious. Now, you can add meat to it if you want. You could add some cubed chicken or some little chunks of beef. That's absolutely fine. I am not going to do that. So, I'm just doing a vegetable one. I'm going to take two cans, and these are 13 ounce cans. These are nice cans, nice size cans. I'm going to take two of these, because I'm doubling this. Okay. Two cans of cream of potato soup and two cans of drained veggies. You want to make sure you drain them, especially if you're using the canned. I've got a lot of these in my pantry. And, you know, my family's just not fond of canned veggies. But when I make them, you know, add them to my pot pies, they absolutely love them. So that's what I'm going to do. Now we're going to put some pepper in here. Let me see. Let me move my camera so you can see me. We're going to put some pepper in here. Nice amount of pepper. We're not going to add any salt to this because the soup is salty enough. And then I'm going to do, let's see, I'm going to do one teaspoon of thyme. And I'm also going to add teaspoon of rosemary. A scant teaspoon of rosemary. Okay? They go beautiful together. Rosemary and thyme. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Alright, we're just going to mix this all in. Mix it together really, really well. So, that's all mixed together. See that? Beautiful. Okay, we are going to take our pies up here. And we are just going to divide this between both of these pies. Don't waste any. Make sure you scrape your bowl real good. Okay, that can go in my sink. We're just going to spread these around in these pies. All right, those are going to be wonderful. Okay, so I cheat. I usually make my own pie crust, but this time I was lazy. And these were on sale, so... It's still going to be good. These are all unthawed. So all I'm going to do, let me get a fork. All I'm going to do is open these up. Well, maybe not my scissors. And I'm going to just roll them out very carefully. See that, how nice that works? And I'm going to lay that on the top of each of my pies. Let me move my camera down so you can see what the heck I'm doing. Again, I'm just going to take the second one and I'm just going to roll it out real carefully. You want these unthawed. Thawed. 
lay that on top of there. Okay, now once I have that on there, I'm going to cut these edges, the excess off. Okay. Okay. Now I'm just going to take my fork and I'm just going to crimp, crimp the edges together. And that's it. That's all it takes. That just seals them. Okay, so once you have your edges crimped, you're just going to want to take and cut a little, some little slits in your crust so that the steam will escape. Okay? Okay, friends, now that I'm all done with my pies, they turned out beautiful. I'm not going to bake these. These are going to go in my freezer, so I'm going to wrap them, and I'm going to label them, date them, put them in the freezer, and these are going to be ready for a busy day. Quick meal. You're going to love it. Give it a try. Thanks for watching.